Here's some food for thought. Can. It. Be. Juice. Thank you, my lovely artificial audience. It's the show about extracting nutrients from plant matter. It's the big one. It's the... Can. It. Be. Juice. On Pikmin 2 on the GameCube, Wii, and Nintendo Switch, we have returned to the Dream Den after getting the Kiwi, and found ourselves on the second floor, dealing with a gaddling groink in a wooden space with blocks, getting a pencil and a sharpener, starting a theme that will carry further in. Jumping into the third floor, we discover more electric hazards huh. and danger at every turn, some for you, Bye. and some for your enemies. <laughs> We get a joystick, then head in strategically into the fourth floor to avoid much more needless danger. Finding cannon beetle larvae everywhere, oh, and with son of some a hilarious strategic aiming, you can clear the road to get a coin. Then jump in the hole to find yourself on a level five with depths of fire, blowhogs, and sleeping bulborbs. You deal with those, then a fiery bow blacks to finally reveal our fruit. A relative of the loquat and the mother of all American symbols. It's the final recurring fruit of Fitment 2. Also the most iconic one of the series. But before we can escape, we will need to continue down the floors. Next is the sixth floor, with irritants and jelly floats, getting a crystal ball. Then the seventh floor has blowhogs and dirigibugs, where you get jewelry. Eighth floor, all the dweevils again. And that's where you get a Russian doll and a jack-o'-lantern. Ninth floor is a rest area. Tenth floor is more water, water dumples, a gatling groink, wallywog, and fire and water to get Hanafuda cards. Eleventh floor, the return of bread bugs and other annoying creatures to get a mustard lid and a shogi tile. Twelfth floor, there's poison, frogs, orange bulborbs, and hey! Baking powder in a ring. Thirteenth floor, bulb orbs. Would you look at that? A root beer bottle cap. And then finally, the last floor. We're dealing with the Titan Dweevil. And Dweevils take on the characteristics of whatever is on their head. And look who is on there. It's freaking Louie. And he's on a beast that is armed with every element a Dweevil can create. After all, Louie is attracted to shiny objects and would have a negative impact on this creature's mind. I wonder why. You have to remove all its weapons first. Its watery one is most recommended. Then either it's fire or poison next. So your yellows have the electric one all to themselves. Then you can pound the Titan Dweevil's hide into oblivion. Freeing Louie, he is labeled the King of Bugs because he has a sort of neurological connection to them. What we find out when getting Louis back home is that he ate the golden pick pick carrots! You know, the reason why all of Mirth Company was put into bankruptcy? And we had learned through our messages throughout our journey from Louis's grandmother is that because of his hatred of being outside, because of the bugs biting him, she made him eat the bugs and plants, being the catalyst to create the most self-centered glutton in Nintendo history. Rotten to the core. It's your fault, woman! I don't know why Olimar doesn't reprimand the man. Regardless of Olimar's ignorance and this family's massive character flaws, all the treasures of Pikmin 2 were acquired and brought to Hakatate. And aside from the less fruity treasures, we got the Cupid's Grenade, the Sunseed Berry and its larger equivalent, the Citrus Lump, Disguise Delicacy, and finally, the Insect Condo, or the Apple! If there was a fruit that has been transformed or associated with a character spanning a wealth of franchises, it's the Apple. The token fruit of success, of places, the first sin, a slice of heaven, and one of the kings of juicing. There's not a single doubt they can be juiced. But what is the best apple for it? 
first, we will need to learn about the types of apples out there. There was a legendary man who spread the crop across America, who in one interpretation sang, The Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. Oh, the Lord is good to me. That was for you, Pops. That man that that song is associated with would be responsible for the existence of at least 6,500 types of apples. The fruit has gotten so big in culture. There's a name for their study, pomology. But there's three specific categories. The baking, the tasting, and the snacking. These apples have their subcategories being the sweet and tart varieties. And even further, still, there are categories within these being tender and firm. A firm apple can retain its shape when cooked, whereas a tender apple doesn't stay together when cooked. Coincidentally, it is the firmest of apples with a balance of sweetness and tartness that make the best juice. While the apple in the second game of Pikmin is of a generic look, the apple you get in Pikmin 3's Burrowing Snagret is more distinct. When it comes to the type it looks the most like, it resembles more of a Jonna Gold Apple, which is a mix of Jonathan and a Golden Delicious. <laughs> There's a connection. Its coloring is yellow of Golden Delicious, with a large wash of red. Though depending on the climate, Jonah Gold Apples can be yellow, green, yellow, or a blend of orange and red as well. This is a crisp apple to bite into, with a delicious gleaming white flesh that resists browning. Fun fact, the same enzyme that makes an apple brown has been discovered to give us a tan. It is, of course, melanin. Yeah, the stuff that makes our skin. Anyway, the apple's flavor is quite sweet, but with a lot of balancing acidity. It is absolutely a very pleasant fruit. This American apple, developed in the 1940s, had a second parent, Jonathan, which was an old American variety discovered in the 1820s. When it comes to juicing, however, Jonah Gold is not the most ideal kind to use. The standard variety, the Red Delicious, the Red Delicious apple is trash, would not be the best kind to juice either, as the yellow it once had is what gave it flavor, and has an inconsistent hold, leaning on the more tender kind of fruit, or as Japan's gift to pomologists around the world, the Fuji, would be fantastic for juicing, but it wouldn't fit in a typical juicer. Fuji apples. Yeah. They're great.